One thing that helps me make thousands of dollars at every boudoir photography session is having the right setup in my studio. And today I'm breaking down exactly what sets I have in my studio, plus I'll talk a little bit about the equipment that I use too. Let's dive in. Hey boudoir photographers, are you ready to be totally booked out with high paying clients? I'm Tracy Lynn and I went from side hustle photographer to running a million dollar boudoir photography business working just 30 hours a month. That's right, just 30 hours a month. On this podcast, I tell you how I did it and how you can too. Hey there and welcome back. Since 2017, I made a cumulative $1.5 million. Yes, really. And want to know the real shock? I made that much working less than 30 hours a month. Of course, there's many reasons for this and I get into a lot of them on this podcast, but there's one thing that I think is really underestimated in the boudoir photography industry and that's your studio furniture. Seriously. This episode is going to be a little bit shorter because I'm going through the exact studio furniture that I use in my business and to be honest, it's not that much. But one thing that helps me make thousands of dollars a day on my shoots is having the right setup in my studio. So the photography studio setup that I have is very, very specific. The furniture I've chosen was chosen with purpose. The studio setup makes your clients feel like they have to buy all their photos. And personally, I bought thousands of dollars worth of furniture, literally. I'd really hate to show you my Amazon order history for the studio, but I'm gonna be honest with you. There's only a few pieces that I actually use every single session. I've literally given away a lot of the furniture that I bought through the years. Honestly, you could probably go find it in my uh, makeup artist Tiffany's house. But I truly credit these pieces to how I can sell more images and bigger albums every single session. And that's exactly why today I'm talking about my exact boudoir studio setup and it's going to help you make a lot more money while you also create beautiful photos. Now the first piece of furniture that will help you make crazy high sales in your boudoir photography business is my favorite setup in my studio and that's my cream chase lounge with my white fur rug. This setup is the one that I'm probably most known for in St. Louis. One of my clients said one time, oh my god yes this is like the signature boudoir by Tracy Lynn pose. By the way all the items I'm sharing are linked down below for you to easily check out and purchase. So let's talk about why I love this chase lounge. First of all, it's arched, but not too arched. It's just enough to give her the arch that she needs without being over the top. And second, it's a neutral color. It's gonna go very well with most skin tones and outfits. And third, the white fur rug is just a signature boudoir by Tracy Lynn look. My clients love it. And I've tried so many different rugs and I always come back to this one. The second piece of furniture that will help you make crazy high sales in your boudoir photography business is a white silk sheet and I pair that with a white wall for the background. I want this setup to be very light and airy. With this sheet set, I use the actual sheets to cover the client and make it feel like an early morning setup, if that makes sense. To make this setup even easier to move around and out of your way, I have it just set up on the floor so I can push it out of my way when I need to. I actually used to have this on rollers, but it scratched up the floor so badly in my old studio that when we moved into the new studio, I just threw those rollers away because I really didn't want to have to pay for a new floor when we move out of this space. And the third piece of furniture that's going to help you make crazy high sales in your boudoir photography business is a dark silk sheet set for a more moody setup. And I have this set up more like a bedroom. I don't really use these sheets to cover the client. Sometimes I do, but mostly I don't. Mostly she just lays on the sheets or she's sitting on them in this set. And I really love this set because it doesn't bounce light at all. The light absorbs into the wall or the sheets and that gives you more of the shadows and highlights on your client. Whereas in the white sheets, the setup is very light and airy so the light is bouncing off the white making it harder to see the shadows, although they're definitely still there. But did you notice that all three of these setups are very different and they give a very different look? The more variety you have in the images, the better. That's going to help you get those super high sales because she's going to want the variety. And I've got a setup for light and airy, I've got a setup for dark and moody, and I've got a correctly lit setup. But still, no matter what, 
All of my images are actually very correctly lit with specific use of light and shadows. I think that's something that's very important that every photographer should think about. Make sure that everything is correctly lit. So finally, I want to talk through the equipment that I've used for every session since 2017. I use a Canon 5D Mark III that I bought from a wedding photographer in 2015. I also use a 70 to 200 2.8L. I also bought this lens from a different wedding photographer in 2016. And finally, I have a 50 millimeter 1.2 L that I actually invested in a brand new about five years ago. I'm a big believer in the fact that you do not have to invest a ton of money into the latest and greatest equipment. I'd rather save my money for education to learn to use my equipment and grow my business and become great, successful, and profitable. And that's exactly what I did. I used the money I saved from purchasing my new main equipment and I invested in two five-day workshops with Jerry Guionis and then a one-day one-on-one in-person workshop with him as well. I've also invested in multiple other in-person workshops with other photographers that I respect and admire and I've invested in having my own photography business coach since 2015. These investments have gotten me so much further than the equipment ever could have. Now, if you only get one thing from this episode, I want you to understand that creating a repeatable system in your business is only going to make your life easier, but it's going to make you more profitable. Remember, the most successful and profitable businesses are just repeating those same experiences and processes over and over again. I talk about this in episode 31, where I walk you through the processes that I've developed and how you can find your own. Now, of course, if you're listening to this episode and you're thinking, great, Tracy, but I can't really afford a whole new studio or equipment right now. Now, I totally get that. These are things that I've purchased over years in business. I did not buy them all at once, and it required a lot of budgeting. And I get it. Budgeting sucks. Nobody wants to talk about it, but I made a really easy-to-use template that helps you find out exactly how to budget for things like studio, furniture, new photography equipment. And if you want to grab that, it's just $37 in my shop right now. And I'm going to link that in the show notes. Thank you for listening to this episode of Sustainable Freedom with Boudoir Photography. Please be sure to rate and follow so that you never miss an episode. They drop every Thursday and they're always full of super actionable information for you to apply right now in your boudoir business. Until then, make your next shoot your best shoot.